ओके स्टूडेंट्स द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रेनफॉल इन इंडिया वेन यू टॉक अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रेनफॉल इन इंडिया इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द फॉलोइंग फैक्टर्स द रिलीफ सेकेंड वन इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मॉइस्चर लाइड एंड विंड्स एंड द थर्ड फैक्टर इज द पाथ ऑफ साइक्लॉनिक डिप्रेशन विच आर डिटरमाइंड बाई द प्रेशर ग्रेडियंट वन बाय वन वील जस्ट गो थ्रू दीज फैक्टर्स रिलीफ वेन यू टॉक अबाउट इट इज नथिंग बट द लैंडफॉर्म हाउ इट बिहेव इन अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया If the landform has got good height, it is going to block the moisture laden winds, and it helps to cause heavy rainfall on the windward side. If it's a low lying area, they are not going to block the uh, rain bearing winds, and that particular area is not going to have heavy rainfall. For example, Himalayas, Himalayas block the southwest monsoon winds, and we see it rains heavily in the uh, Ganga plain, right? even when you talk about western ghats eastern ghats they too block the rain bearing winds and helps to cause heavy rainfall on the windward side then moving on to the next and the last factor they are quite similar in both the cases you will see pressure conditions are very important when you talk about the moisture laden winds for this also pressure is playing a very important role if suitable pressure conditions are there these moisture laden winds are attracted towards the a particular area if there are no suitable conditions moisture laden winds are not going to get attracted the similarly uh, we have the cyclonic depressions even for this you need to have suitable conditions then only the cyclonic depressions are attracted towards a particular area the indian subcontinent can be divided into four rainfall regions first one is regions of heavy rainfall second one is regions of moderate rainfall regions of scanty rainfall and desert and semi desert regions one by one we'll just go through these regions areas with over 200 cm of rain first we'll talk about the northern part of our country which is about tropic of cancer areas like southern slopes of the eastern himalayas the garo khasi jaintia and the lusai hills you can see over here garo jaintia and khasi hills and the lusai hills this particular part is the southern slope of the eastern himalayas which face towards the equator it rains heavily in these part of our country then states when you talk about we have meghalaya assam arunachal pradesh west bengal where it rains heavily even in bangladesh it rains heavily we receive rainfall over 200 cm now we will see towards the south areas with over 200 cm of rain towards the south of our country it is below the tropic of cancer you will see which are those places that is the windward side of the western ghats comprising konkan and the malabar coast so we are talking about this green color area where we receive over 200 cm of rainfall you will see this is the konkan coast this is the malabar coast where we receive heavy rainfall and states like goa karnataka maharashtra kerala so these are the places where you receive heavy rainfall students you need to remember one question will be asked which is the place which receives rainfall from both the uh, rain bearing winds or the uh, monsoon winds that is the southwest monsoon wind and the northeast monsoon wind it is the southern part of the kerala which receives rainfall from both the southwest monsoon winds and the retreating monsoon winds okay the next is the regions of moderate rainfall that is between 100 to 200 cm first we will go to the northern part again areas like middle ganga valley you can see over here i have shown on the map this is the middle ganga valley right students you know that uh, for a river it has got three courses right upper a uh, course middle course and the lower course so this is the middle part of the river and we see that it rains between 100 to 200 cm of rainfall and states like 
बिहार वेस्ट बंगाल एंड मध्य प्रदेश दीज आर द स्टेट्स वेर वी रिसीव हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल दिस इज टूवर्ड्स दी नॉर्थ ऑफ आर कंट्री रीजन्स ऑफ मॉडरेट रेनफॉल रेंज बिटवीन हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स वील गो थ्रू दी साउथ नाउ द सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ आवर कंट्री एरियाज लाइक द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश द सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ द तमिलनाडु पार्ट्स ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट्स एंड ईस्टर्न महाराष्ट्र स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन सी आई हैव जस्ट सर्कल्ड दीज एरियाज दिस इज द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ द आंध्र प्रदेश राइट दिस इज द सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ तमिलनाडु पार्ट्स ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट्स एंड ईस्टर्न महाराष्ट्र दीज आर द प्लेसिस वेर यू सी द रेनफॉल इज बिटवीन हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स एंड स्टेट्स लाइक ओरिसा एंड मध्य प्रदेश सो यूल सी दैट इट रेन्स बिटवीन हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स इन ओरिसा एंड मध्य प्रदेश सो दीज आर द प्लेसिस वेर इट रेन्स और वी हैव मॉडरेट टाइप ऑफ रेनफॉल नेक्स्ट इज द रीजन्स ऑफ स्कैंटी रेनफॉल एंड द रेंज इज फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स अगेन एज यूजल वील गो थ्रू द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट फर्स्ट एरियाज अपर गंगा वैली एंड द ईस्टर्न राजस्थान यू कैन सी ओवर हियर आई हैव जस्ट सर्कट दिस पार्ट दिस इज द अपर गंगा वैली एंड द ईस्टर्न राजस्थान सो दीज आर द एरियाज वेर इट रेन्स बिटवीन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल एंड स्टेट्स लाइक पार्ट्स ऑफ पंजाब देन वी हैव हरियाणा एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ कश्मीर वेर वी रिसीव रेन बिटवीन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स ओके रीजन्स ऑफ स्कैंटी रेनफॉल अगेन द रेंज लाइज बिटवीन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर्स नाउ वील गो थ्रू दी सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ आवर कंट्री एरियाज लाइक द सदर्न डेक्कन comprising the plateau region of karnataka so uh, the deccan region of karnataka the deccan plateau and states like andhra pradesh and tamil nadu so in andhra pradesh we see uh, we have rainfall between 50 to 100 cm and tamil nadu so these are the areas where we receive rainfall between 50 to 100 cm regions with less than 50 cm of rain in the north we have areas like western rajasthan southern punjab and the northern most part of kashmir students you can see i have just highlighted these areas this is the western rajasthan then we have the southern punjab and the northern most part of the kashmir so towards this area we will see it rains less than 50 cm of rainfall regions with less than 50 cm of rain towards the south of our country that is the rain shadow area of the western ghat so this is the part where we see the rainfall is less which is below 50 cm especially the interior parts of maharashtra you will see that it rains very less students i hope you have understood this lesson